I know you don't use Facebook, but go like the page for me. That's all I ask for you. Log in and go like the Cough Voice page. That's all I ask of you. Podcast number 84. Are you know there's a new version of this? It sounds a little weird to you. No, never oh, mind. It never sounds mind. actually amazing. I'm trippy. I'm trippy. Um, my tummy kind of hurt. Mine does too. Hello, guys. How, how are you guys doing? I can't about answer. To, I was about to say something. I'm plugging. Oh, do you have a Snapchat? Do you use I don't it? use it. Or you should start. I made a another Snapchat. It's Cami Cuff. All right, boys, go, go, go do it. Go find it. Cami Cuff. C-A-M-M-Y Cuff. C-U-F. Why? Just like... All these people, if if you get just views on your story or shit, like it, it, you make money off of it. You don't have to do anything extra? Just if you, bro, that's why all these big YouTubers you see posting 50 stories a day now. It's funny. What the fuck? Bro, I've heard people, like big, big people making like $25,000 a day. That's what Bryce Hall makes a day. Okay, well, Snapchat. I was trying to avoid the name. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I... I'll be happy with $100 a day, $200 a day, bro. I'm actually very sad that my first two Snapchats are gone because I had a thick following on those. It's depressing. And I messaged Snapchat on Twitter about that like years ago, and they were like, that account was terminated. And I was like, all right, sick, appreciate it. Can't restore it. Yeah, what the fuck? Snapchat's so weird about getting back in your account. It's so bad. And then, And then you can do Snapchat shows. Like you make a show and it's on Discover page. What? Yeah, I'm gonna do that shit too for my <coughs> the the news videos on Cuffboys channel. Stop playing. <coughs> oh, and we have a Cuffboys <coughs> guys. Look, listen. There's gonna be at least fucking ten thousand of you watching this right now. Go. I know you don't use Facebook, but go like the page for me. That's all I ask for you. Log in and go like the Cuffboys page. That's all I ask of you. You don't have to use it or watch it. But just go like it. How many likes do you need? Fucking. We need eight thousand more likes. Yeah. Where are you at right now? Fit 1700 you need to get 10,000 yeah are Facebook ads like really good yeah turd lease mm, mm-hmm, yeah mm-hmm, yeah mm-hmm. okay um and just all those prank guys yeah low-key make money off Facebook it's crazy there's actually so much more avenues for content creators now it's actually annoying because in my prime 2017 2018 there was none of these avenues yeah zero it was just YouTube ad revenue and merch mm-mm-mm yeah. Ain't that some shit? It's kind of how the cookie crumbles. What do you have in your hand? Butterfly knife, but it's not a knife. It's a bottle opener. I'm scratching my scalp with it. Wait, does it hurt? Uh-uh. Are you not, sure? There's no blade. Okay. okay. I mean, it'll like, it hurts if it smacks your finger, but it's not going to cut you. It doesn't hurt, but it's like, you like feel you. Okay. I'm so bad at that. Steven and Jake were making fun of me when they showed me that like a month ago. Mm. I've never used one of those. Really? Yeah. And that I was good for never using like one. forever ago? Yeah, I got it from the flea market when I was super young. And then it broke. The bolt came loose and I didn't know how to fix it. I was devastated. Bro, I watched a vlog yesterday, Donnie, from your room at your mom's. Mm-hmm. And we're sitting in there and your gap and your tooth. No, I know it was bad. That is so good you got that fixed. Yeah, that right? was like my big, yeah. Yeah. But that like was like I, my biggest insecurity. What do you do? Like they just moved. I got Invisalign. Oh, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, bro, that shit was. Ter- I was like, "Holy fuck, you look so much better without that." I know. Like you went from like, what do you what do you rate yourself? Twenty seventeen virgin. Oh my god, financially like a six. looks. <laughs> Mine's like a six. Yeah, like a six. Maybe a five. All right, come on, bro, give me a six. No, me. Oh, you a fu- yeah, you were hotter then. No, but gender. You're like a nine. Gender docks it. I saw a tweet the other day. Fucking pissed me off, dude. It said, I've never seen a cute ginger. And it had hundreds of thousands of likes. And I was like, all right, fuck this bitch. Like, what Dude, the fuck? you were good looking. Appreciate it, Johnny. The word makes me feel very good. I mean, you're just. I know. I, we don't need to talk about it. You had long hair and you were like skinny. You had like. I know. Guys, I'm going to go from like a three to a four in the next few months, though. You're not a three, dude. You're like a. All right, s- look. You're like a five or six. Okay, thank you. Um, Actually, you're like a six or seven. The glasses. I'm getting rid of the goddamn glasses, boys. Finally, although my eyes are small and everyone's going to realize now because they never knew how small my eyes were. And your cheeks are bigger now. So I know they, that's they why I got to lose the face. Yeah. I got to lose the face fat. I'm, I'm going to get this uh, eye surgery called smile. It's like small incision 
That it's a fucking I, acronym. Yeah, small incision. I small small incision something. And uh, islands. It's like the newer version of LASIK and PRK, and it takes like around ten minutes total for the whole operation, and it's like really sophisticated, and there's like pretty much no healing time. Like you're good in a day or two, apparently. That's sick. And LASIK and PRK, it's, there's like healing time. Like it takes yeah. like a week or two. That's sick. But this one, it's like less invasive, and it's for. It literally says it's for people that do <laughs> martial arts. I was like, that's not me, but I'll take it because like if you get hot, oh hit, yeah, you know, if you get hit in the eye after doing LASIK or something, your PRK can like fuck up your eye bad. There's a UFC fighter that fought blind, like literally like blind, like he was like so like his vision was fucked up, and he was a champ for a while, like two years, what? and he just lost recently. But isn't that crazy? He was that fighting without good vision, but he just got surgery too. Wow. I don't know why I never did this. I just need to get fucking, uh, make sure my insurance can cover some of it because it's like five grand. It's like four or five grand. Damn. But it's like, I'll never have to wear glasses again. God damn. I was scared like for a while, like I'm not doing that ever. But then yeah. I like, I was like, all right, 10 minutes of my life. To never have to wear glasses again. To, n- of, to not be a pussy and never have to wear glasses that again. That is crazy. Do your eyes have to be like a certain severity of like fucked up? So the, to- the rules that I saw were like, I, it, there was like a certain severity, yeah, but it's like the main rule was your eyes <coughs> sight can't couldn't have drastically changed in the last year or something. Can, like, can't they only do the surgery once? So like if your eyes get worse when you're older, you can't get it a second time? I don't know. I mean, yeah, I don't know about that fact, but all I know is it says like if your eyes went from like bad to worse in the last year, you're probably not there yet. Like you need to wait until it gets like uh, stagnant. Right. And then it was like people that have like really fucked up things like with their eyes, but my eyes are just kind of dry and I never solved that, but I don't, that's probably just because you're on your computer all day. Yeah. Yeah. hundred yeah. percent. But when I got my eyes first examined in 2018, when I thought I was going crazy because I couldn't see, they told me my eyes were dry and gave me eye drops and I barely used them. Oh, I used shit. them for like a month. Mm. Yeah. So I, that I kind of fucked up. Like prescription that. eye drops? I think so. Damn. I used them for like a month and stopped because I was like, eh. Fuck, talking about dry eyes makes me like. I know, dude. Anything with eyes, bro. I was nervous about the surgery because I don't want to close my eye on accident when there's laser or something. They, do they have the? They fucking- clamp that bitch open, right? And then the a guy was talking <coughs> about. It, he was like, "You have no sensation to close your eye because they're like flooding it with numb, numbing cream or <coughs> numbing uh, sh- yeah. eye drops. Yeah, yeah. So you're you don't even feel you don't even feel the need to close your eye. Yeah. So you're literally just sitting there and your eyes are clamped open and they're numb. And apparently he just feels like it's your eyes kind of getting rubbed a little bit. And I was like, that's not that bad. I hate that. 10 minutes though? Yeah. That's I mean, not it's, bad. it's worth it. I agree. It's worth it 100%. To get rid of these ugly ass fucking things I have to clean four times a day. Because <laughs> dust gets all over them frequently. Yeah. But yeah, I'm going to do that in the next uh, few months and go from a three to a four. Johnny needs to get his, uh, Johnny needs to get yeah, his nose fixed. Oh yeah, that deviated septum. Hey, wait, you want to know what I did last night? What? Brother. What? I went downtown, right? In this nice ass hotel, the Ace Hotel, in a nice ass room. Uh, Fuck this TikToker with seven mil followers. Oh, that's what you did. Okay. Right? All right, boys, if you want to start investing in stocks for your future and saving money, join Weeble today and get up to 12 free fractional shares. Each value between $3 and $3,000. Open up an account, put a $100 deposit in. Trust me, it's a good feeling to start investing. Here's the rest of the podcast. Literally, this bitch is crazy. Not like crazy mental, but like... A freak. Freak, brother. <laughs> freak. And Okay, you shouldn't have said... I'm going to bleep the exact amount of followers because people won't be able to figure it out. I think it's a little more, so it doesn't matter. All okay. right. It doesn't matter because if people figure it out, does it, I don't give a fuck. It's the funny. The girl might be like annoyed. But she won't care. Okay. And dude, so we like we did like two rounds, and then we went out on the balcony and smoked a cigarette, right? Mm-hmm. Only to find out that we locked ourselves on the balcony, and it was raining, and she only had a robe on, and I was just in my underwear, right? It gets worse because I put the little chain lock on the thing too. <sighs> so we're literally, bro, we're literally freezing. Like kind of, not like super fucked up, but we're like kind of drunk just sitting there like, what the- call the front desk, right? Yeah, yeah, So I do, the balcony was huge. Like this is a nice ass hotel room. It was, oh my, it came with a fucking guitar. Like it was so sick. I've never Rich heard ass, of that. Dude, this bitch is loaded. She oh, okay. makes so much fucking money. She's the only fans too, but. Oh, okay. So we're, dude, we're out there and I, I called the front desk. I was like, yo, like 
<clears throat> we locked ourselves on his balcony and I put the chain lock as well. And he's like, okay, no problem. So I was like, okay, they, this is probably as kind of common occurrence, right? Mm, once a month. Yeah. Uh, maybe less. Yeah. And dude, I literally, there were like two, cause the balcony was literally huge. There were like two, uh, umbrellas and I literally made a shelter cause it was windy as fuck and I was freezing. And then we were just huddled keeping warm and then bro literally like 25 i have a video of them unlocking it like their little hands coming in and shit it's really funny i'll like send it to you and you can put it up if you want and then they have a specific tool to rip off the chain lock which is a bit concerning because i always thought in hotels the the main thing that i would be scared of breaking in is the workers like if they like see say they see like a pretty girl and they're like a creep and yeah they, i mean yeah they have a tool specifically for breaking that chain and that's concerning to me well it's just that's just basically no. I know they you people, need it right. Hire people that aren't fucking weirdos. I mean, these were two like dudes my age. Yeah, I mean, it's Th- just they were they were like geeking though. Yeah, there's got to be some safety precaution. Yeah, for that. yeah, yeah especially sure. if someone overdosed or died in there. Right. So they got to be able to. Right, right, right. That's true. Yeah, there's got to be a safety thing. Yeah, but oh my god, dude, this oh my god. <sighs> Bro said two really rounds messy. and then went on the balcony with cigarettes. We did, dude, and then dude, this bitch is like five eleven too. I was plowing her shit, boy. She was, bro. Shit, I, don't hit the desk. I'm not even gonna get into detail, but that bitch is a freak, brother. She she rocked my world, brother. <laughs> Did you see that plane crash? Yeah, terrifying. Okay. And they're like laughing at bro, the beginning of the video. They're it's just like kind of uh, sad, dude. No, so, it is fucked. There's a plane crash in Nepal where there, it was like a the plane was called like a ATR 72, so it only seats 72 people total. It's like an older plane that was invented in like the 80s. So that's why. Wait, is the number after a plane the amount of people that can fit on the plane? No, not in all of them. It's just okay, that one. So not a 747. No. Okay. And um, <laughs> uh, like, uh, so yeah, this bitch just like was, I think it, I, I don't know if it just took off or not. or was trying to land. It looked like it was trying to land, but I don't know. Yeah, it did look like it was trying but to land. But this plane just like flipped over in this video and some guy was on Instagram live or Facebook live in the plane. Like I'm sure a majority of you saw this, but it's just so fucked. I saw the full high quality stream. It's just like the voices of them screaming when they're falling. I'm like, that's literally the my fire. Literally my worst nightmare of it just plummeting to so earth. So did anybody survive? I don't I think there's like sixty eight confirmed dead, but four missing. <coughs> but it's like, bro, that is my worst nightmare. It's just well, like Well the four missing are probably disintegrated. Yeah, that's red mist. If you know, you know. Red mist, what's that? The remember like that all that shit from nine eleven where like majority of people probably just turned into red mist, if you think about it. Like they just got disintegrated. Yeah, like there's just not really, bro. There's uh, still 9 11 people that died that they never found their DNA. There's just it's gone, melt it, just like literally, yeah, evaporated. But, uh, yeah, that's my worst nightmare is a plane just plummeting like that. Yeah, and the video is just so heartbreaking because they're all smiling in it, and then within yeah. 10 seconds, they're dead. Like, they're smiling to 10 seconds. That's because the plane was low, so they were like chilling, yeah, yeah, yeah. quickly. 10 seconds, they're yeah. dead, dude. So far. Dude, Steven showed me. I was already anxious yesterday, and Steven showed me that video and then proceeds to be like, oh my God, look at this. Shows me a fucking Russian soldier pulling up beti- behind two Ukrainians and is like telling them to surrender and shit, and they don't, and he just blasts them. All right. And I was like, Steven, I, I, you know, I've been anxious today. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> Crazy. I was anxious a little bit earlier, but then I went away. I think it was this, uh, the energy drink. I, but it was only 200 milligrams of caffeine. It's not too bad. Bro, Prime has energy drink now, and it's 300 milligrams. That bitch will have be some lawsuits, bro. That's just gonna have people tweaking, and kids are probably gonna drink three of them a day, end up in the hospital. If you, please, love God, only drink one uh. thing of energy drink if you do choose to. Like that shit's actually terrible for you. My brother, Blair, I don't care if you're listening to this. I'm exposing you, bro. Went to the hospital because he thought he was having a heart attack recently. Because he <laughs> wakes up, takes pre workout, mm. works out, fasted, uh, takes a dab after the workout. Goes to Starbucks and get like four espressos and a coffee or something. Are you just kidding? No. You're not being dramatic. And I was like, Blair, you're no wonder you went to the hospital. You need to chill the fuck out. That is to, he well, was I'm like, a, I'm about to shed dandruff. He was like, I can't get anything done if I don't do that much caffeine. I was like, Blair, that's an issue. He has Bro. such an addictive personality. He was like that with yeah. weed at first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not like that at all. Dude, tell him to fucking get on like Vivance or Adderall. I don't know if that's a good suggestion. Those probably aren't much better for you. I mean, it's literally meth. It's literally <laughs> yeah. meth. Bro, fucking Dave Fortnite takes Adderall every day. Like a bunch. Dude, these 
these big business guys, I feel like they have to. I know, because they have to work those like 12 yeah. hour days literally every day to like run a goddamn corporation. I'm going to stop playing with this. That's kind of loud. No, it's fine. <clears throat> Should we talk about uh, the guests that we have on for Thursday? If you want to. Um, so on Thursday, we're having a Sky Bream and Rochelle Nups come on the podcast. But what? Can't, what? Nups? That's her last name. What the fuck? Or no, Strange. it's Nupper. Knupper. I can't remember. <laughs> but <clears throat> they're coming on the podcast on Thursday, but Cameron's not doing it. So I have to raw dog it by myself because Cameron's too scared to talk to porn stars. No, it's just not my thing, dude. It's so uncomfortable. I make videos with my mom. I'm but like, what is stars. uncomfortable? I'm not gonna have. I'm, that's so uncomfortable to me. So, what's the biggest dick you've taken, Johnny? I cannot look at someone and say that's so awkward. That's not my scene, bro. That's your scene. Let's you let's uh, let me practice on you real quick. Okay. Pretend like you have big ass tits and you're hot. Hey. Hey, what's up? Nothing. How long have you been doing this podcast? Like, like two years. Mm. <clears throat> How long have you been sucking dick on camera? <laughs> Like three years or so, but okay, nothing crazy. All right, this is so retarded. Sorry. Um, Did you hear ye ad libs? What, Johnny? You're about to fucking geek. Wait, guys, it's like isolated ad-libs? guys. Yeet ad libs got leaked of its raw voice. <gasps> no. You, the next fifty seconds, you are about Wait, to connect it to the yes, connect. It is. Okay. Ah ah ah! Yeah, yo, crying me up. No way. Me, I'll let it go. Sad. I love better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo. Yeah. 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 Ah! <laughs> it's the high, the the low pitch one. Honey. Y- yo. The stutter, the stutter. Y- yo. Uh huh. Ah, there is, ah, no, bro. Dude, isn't that the best shit you've ever heard, bro? Dude, just imagine trying to tell. So- okay, imagine like the 1940s, right? Yeah. There's like weird ass music. I imagine. I need to keep talking. They're like, imagine what music will be like in a hundred years. They would be appalled at what is it turned into. <laughs> Fuck, dude! What are you doing, no bro? Way. Isn't that so good? Yeah, that's a, incredible, bro. That shit. I saw it on Twitter and I was geeking. I was so excited to show you. You have a red button on in front of you, Johnny. It's mm. one million dollars every time you press it, but each time you press it, someone dies. Spamming it, <laughs> spamming it, dude. I said I was like, I'll hit that shit once a day for like a, a month. But then, but then I'll stop and I'll be like itching to do it. Like, fuck, I should probably do it one more time. No, realistically, realistically, <clears throat> God, that's so I'd fucked hit up. It, I'd hit, I'd like hit it, and then just try to make do with the mill, Johnny. I'm just kidding. I'd fucking smack the bro. I'm hitting it. Be careful. I'm hitting it like ten times, like, like just ten m's. Yeah. yeah, ten m's off rip. That's all you. I feel like that's all you need to We've, put it to like invest. Like, like you're like set I mean, for you life. Really you only have ten need, m's, bro. But, you could finesse. A lot, but yeah. I mean, shit, boy. We done turned 300 into... Goddamn. On it. You gave me $300 to start ransom. Oh, I was so confused. What is he talking about? Oh, that was 400. It was three. I think it was only 300, dude. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Um, I thought that was good because that's like so fucked up. Like someone's dying and we're <laughs> spamming it. What is that? There's a movie. Is what? It the, bo- the box? Bird Box? No, there's a movie. Wait, oh, I think I know what you're talking there's, about. That's literally a movie, dude. I can't think of what... I haven't seen the whole thing. It's a super famous movie. My dad oh. showed me. I can't... I can't remember, though. <coughs> Bro, fucking what's it called? We didn't talk about this in the podcast. Guys, if you've seen... You want to watch a scary movie, watch Barbarian. Oh, my God. insane. So good. That is our movie recommendation of the week. It's really good. Actually insane. Like, yeah. that shit is disturbing, so prepare yourself, but... Just want to let you know. Yeah, I didn't think it was that disturbing, Johnny. I've seen it's more like, disturbing movies. Well, yeah, they're out there like the human centipede and shit. Yeah, right? that movie, uh, fucking the barbar, the barbarian. That's what it's called, right? Yeah, 
that it's it's shot very well. Like it's very well done. It's sick. The as guy, fun. the the what's the term? Cinematographer is like a well known. Oh really? He's really yeah. Do you, do you know his name? I forgot. Mm. I saw the behind the scenes, and sick. he did a bunch of other movies too. Nice. The fucking wide angle shit. Yeah. With when it's showing the sixties and yes, yeah, dude, it's yeah. so sick. I love when they do wide angle in movies. It looks so clean. And like how they did the coloring on the shots with the wide angle. Yeah. Looks so sick, dude. Did you see, wait, <clears throat> no, you definitely didn't see it because it came out last night, but The Last of Us. Is it a show or movie? It was a, it was a game. That no, I, I know, I know. It's a, it's a show now on HBO. It's good. How many episodes? It's one a week. <gasps> but it's, the first one Is was it an hour and 20 minutes though. It was sick. It's like almost. I played the game. It's like shot for shot the game too. Like they finessed it and it's like done really well. It has ninety eight percent Rotten Tomatoes. Damn, that's sick. Like people are sicing it though. Like honestly, there's no zombies show that will ever top Walking Dead. Right. But people are like saying Walking Dead, step aside. Someone might have just replaced you. Like, Do you like that. okay? Ba- say you have only seen the first episode of The Walking Dead and you've only the seen pilot's the first better of Walking Dead. By far. Think about how good that pilot is. It is really sick. He's like in the hospital and doesn't know where he's at. Like that's oh god, it's so, so good. Yeah. And like he finds that little zombie girl, the first zombie he sees a little innocent girl. Yeah, and he's just confused as fuck, tries to go to his house. Yeah. That pilot's so much better. Bro, who the fuck? But the, the, this one's still really good though. AI. Have you been seeing how it's like good it is? What do you mean? Like people are trying businesses with AI now with like little yeah. things like I didn't realize I've been using one for like seven, eight months for my thumbnails on YouTube. So wait, 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 what? I make a thumbnail myself, right? But all the images you use in a thumbnail, if you crop it or cut it out or like screen grab it, yeah, they look like shit. Like they're yeah. terrible quality, some of them. Oh, and, and that for, makes for it, yeah. years, for years, I always struggle <clears throat> with how the fuck do some of these people have such good thumbnails? Mm-hmm. Like certain images they get, but they look like good quality. I'm like, how are people doing this? Like I was so confused. Right. It's a fucking thing called Remini that you put your thumbnail in. It makes everyone look high quality. Does it redraw it completely? Pretty much. But it That's looks crazy. good too. Yeah. And like they're, they're like updating it. And then there's like that chat GPT thing that literally you can conversate with and get answers about anything now. They can, it, it'll write you a script if you want it to. What? It'll tell you like list, of, it literally, literally have a conversation with you. It's called chat, <coughs> chat GPT. And it's like really powerful and it's kind of scary. Like it knows everything and it will conversate. Not everything is like, if you ask the same question, it'll word it differently each time. Like it's like smart. Like it's not just like some bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I don't yeah. like that. I'm glad we're going to be dead before that goes absolutely crazy. I don't know. I think we have 10 to 20 <gasps> years at this rate. There's so many businesses now. That you're right. You're right. All these businesses are going to try to invest in the technology and make it better to get the next big thing. And then one's just going to build itself Bro. a body and take over. Yeah, I saw yesterday, I think I liked it for me to hold it, or did I screenshot it? Okay. See these <clears throat> pictures? Yeah. These aren't real people. They don't exist. Like, this was made by a AI. They're hot, dude. Fuck, let me Johnny, get an AI they're girlfriend. They're fucking creepy. Look at that. Look how many teeth she has. It's all fucked up. Wait, go back to that one? Go back to that. Now, zoom on them titties. Oh my God, they do look scary as yeah, fuck, the teeth. But an AI completely made these people in the whole setting and everything. Like that shit is, that is creepy scary. as fuck. People are like saying, this is going to give me nightmares. <laughs> like what <laughs> oh the Oh my hell? God, dude. Did you also see this video of the slap league thing I tweeted? I didn't see, was it the guy's face swollen guys, as fuck? I'm putting it on the screen right now. I didn't see you tweet that, but I saw it. Bro. How many slaps do you think it took this? to get to that point? I don't know, but this fucking sport's stupid as fuck. Yeah. Like, actually dumb as Someone's fuck. Someone's gonna die. That, Their brain's gonna, is gonna get dislodged. Bro, this guy's face. They slap each other and don't defend themselves. They just stand there and get slapped. It's the whole thing. <clears throat> Literally, th- this guy's face is slanted from being slapped so much. It was like blood. His yeah. Blood was drawn from being slapped. Someone is going to die 100%. Like, get some with their brain. Like, they're going to get... Well, that's uh, right on your temple. Can't you die if you get hit on your temple really hard? I don't know how someone has it. I know. Someone will die doing that. I can pretty much guarantee that in the next year or two. Because that's it, becoming so much more popular. I'm like, who is paying? I would never pay to watch that, ever. It's it's almost uncomfortable to watch. I, dude, I like cringe. Yeah, I'm like, these people yeah, are yeah. literally probably getting paid a thousand per fucking fight. Yeah. And like, 
Like, what are you, dude? You're and there's no weight. I'm like, why is there no weight classes? That's crazy. You seen that little dude with like that's covered in crazy tattoos going against like a huge ass? Why dude? is there not size weights? Yeah, weight? that's crazy to me. I was so lost. I don't get it, dude. Like, okay, that is going to fail so hard. Like Dana White's thing going to yeah. fail so hard. How do you even train for that? You just smack the fuck out of a punching bag for eight hours a day. Yes, like technique. Uh, yeah. And then hope to God your face can hold up against a goddamn Jake. <sighs> Literal ogre. With a goddamn hand that is, bro, the weight classes would be a thing in that. That's so fucked. Yeah. Like, think about that. Yeah, no, for sure. That is quite bon, cause yeah. Never had a cold again or no traffic. I saw that on Twitter. Oh, I'd never have a cold again. I don't drive enough to pick no traffic. Is it no, no cold or no sickness at all? I mean, I guess. Yeah, I'm good. I'll, I'll do the no cold. I'm trying to think of the last time I had a cold. I think I have one like right now. <laughs> Johnny gets sick literally once a it's month. It's the deviated septum, man. Only one of my nostrils work. How much does that cost to get fixed? I think it's like five to twelve k, depending on. Is insurance they covered or no? Because sometimes know. insurance is like they they don't pay for shit that's cosmetic. You know I mean? That's not cosmetic though. Yeah, it's medical. That's what I'm saying. It, it yeah. could be on the fence though. They could be like, hey, shit, you know, it's fine, bro. You breathing, breathing, dude. I know for a fact my septum is deviated as fuck. My nose is crooked when you look at me. It's not that crooked, Johnny. But it is. So when you blow out, do you feel it? You only feel a little bit from one side? Like, are both sides the same? No, but look, put your finger right here. The air comes out of this one and not It this is kind of gross. It's just nose air. You feel the difference? It's warmer in that side. On There's your nothing. right side. Go like this. Because when you put your whole hand, it, it bounces the air off. Look, like, do this one first. Oh, your left side's fucked. Yeah, there, it doesn't work, right, bro. Now I feel like I need to literally drink. Bro, it's my hand air, so. you psychopath. No, you were saying you were felt sick. I'm bitch. kidding. I'm kidding. It's just because I've drank alcohol every day for the past like. Then you say we're gonna drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Johnny said his New Year's thing was gonna try not to drink as much. You I have four day streak, but I haven't been getting annihilated like I usually do. I'll drink like four drinks just to loosen up. Like even last night, I like barely drink and like. Usually do you think it's an issue? Do you see it as a problem? I don't have a drinking problem. Yeah. But when I drink, it's a problem. I feel like you're just a social drinker. I am. I am. The issue is that you're you're in Boston. You live in LA. So you you can do it every single night. Exactly. Like, it's not like you're waking up and drinking. No, fuck no. That's what I'm saying. No, I, I that, that's disgusting. I, the only time I, I drink is literally to like socialize because I, I get a little anxious around like new people and shit. But when we went to that triplets thing, we went to this triplets uh, tour starter thing. The little party. Dude, you should have came to their show. That I, was insane. I woke up at 1 p.m. I did not. Did I show you the video? I, I was unaware. I saw the text late at night. And I was like, there's no. I was going to bed at 6, Johnny. I was like, there's no way I'm going to that. Dude, I just crept over the little balcony at the Roxy. Oh, they they were seeing yeah. you too? That's Dude, well, when we were going in, me, Landon, and Sam walked in the back side door and I had my beanie. I had this exact fit on beanie and everything hood up. And three girls were like, Johnny. And like started like screaming. And I, bro, it was like the, the amount of time that they saw me was probably like two seconds. And I'm like, that's crazy that they recognized that that quick. Then when me and Landon were leaving, we went straight to the rainbow. But while we were walking over to it, girls were like looking. But we were like, like the, the rocks are the rainbow. You, can, you yeah, don't have to go around front. And like they were like breaking their necks and shit. And then me and Landon like got a drink. And then it was hot in there. So I went to put my hoodie in my car. And then a bunch of girls took pictures with us doing that. And then we came back and then we stayed there for like an hour, an hour and a half, bro. We come out and there's a bunch of girls waiting for us. I'm not even kidding. The youngest one was probably like nine years old. Waiting. Waiting to take pictures with me and Landon. Why didn't they just ask? Oh, they came to the bar. It's a bar. And what? then like some mom and her daughter came in and we're like drinking and we're like, we're like, hey. Dude, the triplets fan base is crazy. Dude, it's fucking insane. That's so wild. Yeah. In the middle of the day, too. <laughs> yeah, that ended at like four. three or four. Yeah, that's wild, bro. The funniest part was, um, because it, it was like a Q and A at the beginning, and they were like reading questions, and and they were like, "What's Matt's middle name?" And like they, like someone made the crowd get quiet, and then 
Nick was just like Bernard and literally bro they started screaming like bro like shaking my eardrum screaming the girls because they didn't know his name no his middle name is I guess it's an inside joke that his middle name is Bernard because it's like a dog name and bro they literally screamed bloody murder oh my god oh I can, like, dude, they had a me. they had a fucking line around the block they sold it out I know and dude it was funny because like I was like there's like a lot of dudes in the crowd and then I was like oh that's all these girls dads <laughs> There, dude, there is nothing more terrifying than a teenage girl that like obsesses over someone like their group. Like, bro, these motherfuckers were screaming. I just thought of something. What? I was doing on my computer last night. I, I, I was signing up for a uh, Amazon influencer thing. So yeah. you can put your Amazon link. And people can buy your shit that you own on off Amazon. And I yeah. looked up Cuff Boys to find a picture of me because I couldn't find one on my computer. <laughs> So I'm on Google, like try to find a good quality picture of me for for my profile. Yeah, and um, I find something that was called Wattpad. I've heard of that, and I was like, "What is this?" And I click it. Why have I heard of that, Daddy? It's fan fiction of us. Oh God, I know. I've read some, and this one is called Pinky Promise, bro. Can you read? Can you read like the I'm first, gonna like, read like paragraphs? Su- I'm gonna piss in this bottle while you do that. Ellie's POV. Don't trip over a curb this time, Ellie. My mom nagged me. Yes, ma'am. I said sarcastically, walking out of the house and jumping on my skateboard. Right now, I was on my way to Johnny's house. Him, Cam, and him and Cam were gonna film some shit for Johnny's band and possibly a new vlog. I was cutting the corner and I saw a moving truck go past my body. I look over for a second and see a boy staring straight back at me. I trip a little, but catch myself at the last minute. Dumbass, I mumbled to myself. <laughs> I was now walking because I was two houses down from Johnny's. If I walked, it would have been a seven-minute walk. Johnny's peeing on the podcast live. Make sure my meat isn't in this, bro. Bro, it's not. Blur it out. I walk up to the driveway and the front door. I knock on knock on the door and Johnny's mom opens the door. Hey, hon. She almost screamed emotionally because she was happy to see me. This is making me not be able to pee. It's so uncomfortable. How are you? She asked, smiling hard. Oh, my God. How old is your brother? He's in college. What? What about your old, older brother? She rambled more as I saw Johnny and Cam walk in the living room. We were now sitting. Hey, Cam said, smiling. Hi, Cammy Cuff, I said to him. Whichever one of you made, when was this, like 2017? This is 2019. Whoever made this, like, gets some help. It's paragraphs. I'm not even I'm not even 25% done. We got to clear my piss. Cameron opened his mouth started to war between him and Johnny. Bro. What does it say? What? It's talking about me and you arguing because I called your mom fine. What? Bro, Lauren is hella fine. Shut up, Cam. She's mine. Lauren. Yeah. It's not even my mom's name. Shut up. She's mine. Johnny said, rolling his eyes, still looking down his phone. She she ain't got your name on her, does she? Cameron said. He's told me tons of times he thinks Lauren isn't all that. What is going on in the story? Dude, this is so uncomfortable. Just like no, I literally have like a cringe feeling in my whole body right now. There's more too. There's more than just that one. I'm good. There's several more. Look how clear my piss is. I know this existed and it's been a thing for years and it has four thousand views on this website. Johnny, I don't know if I might have to blur that. Put it out of the camera shot. For what real. do you mean? No, YouTube. It looks like, like a bottle of water. I know, but YouTube is literally Nazi Germany now. They're out there executing channels. It, you can't even tell. Look how clear that is. My balls are sweaty as hell. I haven't showered today. Did you see the details of those Idaho murders? Kind of. Okay, the dude killed the two people, or he snuck in yeah. after being a stalker, pretty much. Um, Wait, he stalked them before? He stalked one of the girls, apparently, a little bit. Oh, so he was a stalker. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Oh. He Somehow the girls on the bottom level survived, which is crazy to me. Yeah. He killed the two the, the four people up, on the upper level. Seems levels. like it would be opposite. Yeah. Yeah. And... um. He walked past one of the girls after she saw him. What? A surviving girl at the bottom level while he was leaving. And they like saw each other and he just left. She closed the door, locked the door and doesn't call the cops for eight hours. Is that real? Yes. Confirmed. The girl was like so (sighs) scared. She just like, I guess she fell asleep, scared as fuck and never called the cops. Until like seven hours later. And... So that was like 4 a.m. to 12, that window, before the cops were called. He went back at 9 a.m. Like his phone got pinged back at the crime scene. What? Why? on? Like People do that. Like I've seen that on like Criminal Minds and shit. But like 
what a fucking idiot. Like his phone got pink. I was like thinking, are how sophisticated are phone servers for them to be able to ping his phone like that? Yeah. But why couldn't they just, all right, say they know they got murdered in this like 20 minute window. Right. They can't look at all the phones pinging in that, mean? in that little like quarter mile area, see all the phones pinging in that 20 minute window window and just be like, all right, we're going to look through every one of these phone numbers until we find who it is. Is that a thing? Is that legal? How else do they find the fucking phone? They just maybe they, they, get maybe they already warrant. needed like probable cause or like it's a search warrant for his phone for him. I know they tracked him. him down through his car. Yeah, the white Elantra. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They tracked him down because uh, it got caught on video or something like his Elantra. Yeah, and they, and they were just he changed his license plate too in the middle while they're like trying to dodge it and then good one driving across the country and got pulled over twice. You got pulled over twice. <laughs> yeah. What happened the first time? I don't know. They just fucking, they, they, they like, I think one of the cops like reported it too. They were like, yeah, white Elantra. Wait, so, so he had, everyone fake was looking pla- for a white Elantra. No, he changed it from, oh, uh, the first time he got pulled over. He changed no, it after. He, no, he changed it from a cer- another state to another state because he had other state tags or something at one point. Oh, so the car was registered in two states. Yeah, he switched it. Oh, after so, the okay. I, I, got you, I got just, you. I think he was just trying to like, just in case. Because yeah. at one point they announced that the Elantra was like the thing to look for, the white Elantra. Mm. And he's probably like shaking it in his boots. He's like, oh, I'm fucked. I'm literally fucked. And he was a criminal major. Like, you knew yeah, you were going to get caught, brother. Yeah, like, dude. And he left a knife holder there. Like, what, are you fucking stupid? That's like the number one rule is to not leave anything there. Like, have you not seen any movie ever? If you're going to kill someone, leave nothing there. Dude, I saw something that while they were transporting him, he had like a bulletproof vest on. Yeah, they do that for a lot of people. But Really? It's mainly, that's like an, okay, I don't want to be an idiot, but I, I feel like I've only seen that on white people. Like I yeah. rarely see that on black people that get arrested. It's usually yeah. only white guys that are like school shooters and shit. Like a lot of school shooters have bullet for, bulletproof vests on for some reason. I but never the, knew that. I'm what? a fucking idiot. I never knew that that was a thing. Oh, there's like that. Remember that guy that killed all those people, black people in a church? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had it on. With the bowl cut. And they were transporting Wait, him. Wait, that, that's what that kid did? He shot up a black church? Yeah. I like, thought he did his... No. What was that dude's name? I forgot. I know who you're talking about. Just, I'll look it up real quick. I'll find oh, out. Oh, I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah, with the bowl cut. I just got him and that other kid that did the school shooting with the thick-ass glasses. I just oh, got them yeah, two mixed that's, up. That's, a, that's another kid. Why Florida. are there so many young mass shooters? Dylan Roof is that kid. 2015 yeah. at a church. Fuck Dylan Roof. Piece of shit. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, there are. It is strange how it's like majority white people. I know. And like. It, I feel like. It, what are the statistics on that? It's probably pretty crazy. I know. Like young. Okay. What it, what considers a mass shooting? Like three or more. That's why. Three or more. That's, that's why in the United States. Like it says there's like a shit ton of mass shootings. But yeah. there's actually not. It's like a lot of them are gang shooting shit. Like. Oh, no that's, way. They consider those mass shootings too. Oh. So, but like the ones where it's just killing a lot of innocent, innocent people. Yeah. I feel like those are probably like once a month for I guess, maybe twice yeah. a month. You think it's that often? Dude. Yeah. That's so scary, dude. What the fuck? And we're in LA, bro. I'd be watching my back. I, I got exits everywhere I go. I'm like, all right, there's an exit over there. There we go. We go for the next 10 minutes. I'm gonna run. I feel like we're fine in the valley, but dude, like downtown. There's some crazy people around here for sure. You think so? There's crazy people everywhere. You're not fine anywhere. You gotta that's, watch your yeah, back at all times. That's true. <clears throat> I just wish we were allowed to have a gun, honestly. Because I, I know I'm not crazy enough to ever kill someone, an innocent person. Yeah. So let me have you a gun. You can, you're in a company in California. I want to be able to fucking, like, the worst fear is getting trapped in a bathroom in that situation. Mm. And you're literally just trapped in you're there. You're defenseless. You hoping that he doesn't it. walk in the door. And if you, if you keep the door closed, you can shoot through it. That's yeah. what they do. Yeah. Yeah. We've officially known each other 50% of our lives, at least. Because we met when we were like 12. Isn't that weird? Whoa. I know. Like Whoa. me, you, and Landon all have been friends for half of our, 50% of our lives. Because we're 24. That's so weird. I know. Ew. We're old as fuck. Um, that's crazy. 12 years <clears throat> of fucking wow. each other. And sucking each other's dick secretly. Mm, babe, stop. You're going to make me come on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of gayness... 
Isn't it crazy that there's rappers out there that are 100% secretly gay and banging each other? Because that's a thing. Why, you say this all the time, but no, like... No, I brought it up to you last week because I forgot to talk about it on the podcast because I want to address this. There's definitely rappers out there that are plowing each other. Think about that. Like, secretly. No, I mean, yeah, clearly. They're, they're, <clears throat> Drake. Um, you think Drake's gay? I think he's bi, if I were to guess. Dude, he's really zesty. Yeah, but dude, there's like... A lot of, I'm sure the majority of them are bi. Like they fuck girls and dudes. I don't know how accurate that is because, dude, I'm not I, majority. I I'm get zesty like, as fuck, but I'm okay, not gay. I'm saying you know what like saying? one or two out of every ten rappers. No way. What is the statistics of humans that are gay? Like, what? I'm looking this up, dude. There's a lot more than you would think. For rappers, though, like, there's a reason why Lil Nas X is the only one that's really flaunting it because he's like was already ma like really famous before so he didn't you know what i mean bro i'm trying to think it honestly i love uzi and cardi but it wouldn't surprise me if one of them is a little zesty wait wait wait, wait. it would not surprise this me says more than one in five or 21 percent of generation z adults identify as lgbtq one in five yeah see that's why that's why i said one in ten rappers that's what i would say that's that is a crazy statistic. I did that's not know that. That's probably high, but that are actually, but that's why I just I rounded it down to one in ten. Well, no, dude, you think about how many like gay people are like in the closet still. That's what I'm talking about about rappers that's, in the closet. No, I mean, yeah, clearly, but that's crazy. Yeah, to think about, like you. <laughs> are you still doing it? Yes. When will you be done? I'll I'll text you when I'm done. But like when? Bro, I don't fucking know. We're just raw dogging it. Um, All right, okay. bye. Bye. Hey, bye. That porn star voice. <clears throat> God, it's so fucking hot, dude. Did you see TK's tweets about uh, adulthood? I'm making like a video adulthood? about it. He tweeted, uh, "I really only need one chance at adulthood." I didn't see that. And then like another page. How was he tweeting? Well, he, he did get caught with the phone at one point, so it could actually be him or just someone on his team. But yeah. He, he got in trouble for having a phone at one point. Yeah. And, but uh, he said, I bet if I was a little white kid, they wouldn't have given me 55 years for a crime I was alleged to play. The I saw that, and I agree. Insignificant, insignificant role in when I was 16. They would have rightfully argue, argued that my mind wasn't fully developed and gave me rehabilitation and a second chance at adulthood. One of my co defense was a white girl who was 16, just like me. They didn't certify her as an adult, but they certified me and Pimp as adults. Pimp got 30. I got 55. She ended up getting 10 years of probation without no deal. That girl at home right now. Okay. There's a difference between that girl and him, though. What exactly did he do? Here's the difference between that girl and him. Yes, she's white. I don't approve of that. That's fucked up if they're giving people white people better sentences. Yeah. Obviously. But that white girl didn't go on the run, involved in another murder, and beat up an old dude. The living fuck out of an old dude. Yeah. That's three big things that he did. He went on the run, made a hit song, like made his whole career off going on the run, involved another murder where they killed someone at a Chick-fil-A parking lot and kicked him out of the car and left and then <clears throat> beat the living shit of an innocent old dude. For That's, no reason. That 16 girl didn't do any of that. Yeah. You did, motherfucker. You're 16. You're not an idiot. Like your brain isn't fully developed, but you, yeah. know, you know what you're doing. Yeah. 50, you can argue 55 is a little too long. Yeah. Maybe he could have got four. Wait, he killed. They killed a random person in a Chick Fil A parking lot. Yeah, like for no reason. It was. Uh, I think it was in the articles. It says some photographer or something. I'm making a video about all of this. What about the old dude? They were robbing him, or TK was just robbing him alone and beat the shit out of him, dude, in a park. Like beat the the guy's face was fucked up. Old ass dude. That's fucked. Yeah. So he had. He's acting like he only. Yeah. He he didn't pull the trigger and shoot anyone in that home invasion initially. Yeah. That was his first thing with those girls. They like. Tricked a guy to seduce him and ended up robbing. That's what they did. And uh, two people got shot. One died. <sighs> he didn't pull any of the triggers. Like, he didn't do any of that. But, bro, you did all that other shit. Yeah. That's why. Yeah, he probably should have got 40 years maybe. But think about, like, think about that old dude and the person that died, the Chick-fil-A victim. There's so many more victims he's he's connected to than just that white girl that yeah. was in the home invasion. He was only 16 though, dude. That's young as fuck. I think like he, you know I, not to kill someone when you're 16. Yeah, but I think he should have got 40 years at the I end with parole. Know. 55 is like he's gonna get out when he's fucking 
what, 73 or something, 72, some shit like that. I can't do math in my head like this, but it's like, <coughs> ah, dude, it's such a tricky thing. Cause it's like, he knows what he's doing, but like you are young. You know what I mean? Like he, he, he had more than one chance. That's the issue in my opinion. Yeah. Like he had like three or four chances of doing something really fucked up to people. Yeah. Right. And they were violent. You gotta think about that. Like if it wasn't violent, it was. He yeah. Was violent. He was violent as fuck with the yeah. old dude and the Chick-fil-A person. That's true. Like if it was like. If it was one situation where he didn't pull the trigger, he should definitely be free. Yeah. Like that, that home invasion, he should yeah. be like in like 10 years or something. Yeah. And ha be able to get out when he's 27 or whatever. They 100% made an example out of him. Think about it. Like why else would they give him 55 years? He made a career after out of doing violent shit. And he got sued by like the person that died's family and shit because they were like, "All right, you made a career out of my <gasps> shit." You know what I mean? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. It's a disaster. Like, actually, just a shit show of a case. God, dude. And now he's sitting in jail, tweeting like he just needs one chance, brother. You got a fifty-five year sentence. Mm. Think about that. I'd kill myself. I would too. I was literally going to say that if I knew I was in jail for the rest of my life. What's the yeah. point? What's the point in sitting there? You're not getting out. You have like a full life sentence. I'd probably chill in there for a few years and then like, what is the point of living? You're literally just trapped in here. I'd try to break out, dude. Yeah, that's another route you could go. Get out of Mexico or something. Pick one food to eat the rest of your life, but if you cheat and eat something else secretly, your mom dies. <gasps> oh my God. Chicken wings. You could eat that every day. I do. No, but every, like if you're hungry at the morning, you gotta eat that. You're hungry at night. You gotta okay, eat is it one item or is, can it be like a meal? No, it's just the one thing. That's what makes it hard. So, like, if I wanted to do chicken and rice, I couldn't do chicken and rice. I mean, yeah, sure, chicken and rice. Okay, I'd probably pick that then. What changes? And the rice would have veggies in it because it's, like, more texture. Like, chicken wings is just, like, okay, does it have to be that same one or can it be from different places? I'd say your mom's dying within five years or something if you do that, bro, 100%. Yeah, hell nah, bro. Hell nah. My mom ain't finna die or something like that. I'd stick to it. Dude, if that's I had so to, hard, yeah, bro, fuck. No. I'm doing French fries. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I, it would have to Maybe be. Maybe a sandwich. It would have to be chicken and rice, bro. Maybe a sandwich because you just need to get all your nutrients, right? Like a well balanced sandwich, and say maybe you were not in the mood for meat that day. You could take that off. Maybe you just want the lettuce. Eat the lettuce. Uh, oh, maybe fuck, you just dude. want the bread. That sounds so miserable. If you want to uh, buy any of the healthy things I eat, go to my Amazon influencer page and buy. Shit, it. I'm gonna probably go up on now. I made a healthy list of what I take on my supplements. Headass. It's in the description, boys, if you want to uh, go ahead and do that. <laughs> my creatine and uh, protein and uh, my superfoods supplements. My superfood Bro, supplements. I actually do see a difference when I take the superfood shit because I like shit way more. Like it's That's flushing good. all the shit out. Like it helps digestive. Right. So when I, when I take it for like 10 days in a row, and I'm like on a roll. I like can tell, oh, like I'm shitting like three times a day at least. Yeah. When if I don't, I, I'm pretty sure I shit once or twice a day. Dude, my little sister shits like once a week. All right. We, that's so embarrassing. I'm not putting that in, bro. I, I'm, Kayla, I got your back. I'm not putting that in. I'm ending what, what he just said out. Trust me. I love you. She would be so embarrassed. <laughs> I don't me. think she, let me call her and ask her Johnny, if she cares. She is going to die inside when you say this on the podcast. Kayla, I got you. I just edited it out. Well, if she if she doesn't care, then you can leave it. No, I'm editing that shit out, bro. Oh my god, my dandruff, bro, it's so bad. Mine's so bad right now too, guys. Dandruff. Me and Johnny both got it very badly. We down bad right now, bro. Actually, wait. <laughs> Do you care if I say how you shit once a week on the podcast? How I what? How you shit once a week? <laughs> I don't care. She doesn't care. All right, bye. Oh, I Bro, she, she literally answered. She was in the shower. She said, let me call you back, Buki. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. shit. Whoa. That was weird. Jake, the... the well, well. The, what size did you get in that, Brandon? Shake. Fits you like a fucking pimp jacket. Brandon got the uh, clown shoes on. Let's go. Got the Cardi shoes on. Thank you. Brandon got the fucking... Uh, uh, what's that shit called? Throw thingy Cardi. For oh, God. Take you, no bitch. The only, thing, the only bitch you're taking is Bozo the Clowns, bitch. What is he talking about? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> huh? I would have said that to you. Uh, uh, yeah, I would have said that camera. normal. I would have raw dogged <laughs> that. Guys, I'm hungry as fuck. 
What's up? All right, everyone's just staring at us. I know, three fuck. people literally just looking at Jake, Jake, come over here. You got anything to say to the podcast? You look good today, Jake. I like the outfit. <laughs> come on, bro. All right, fuck you, bitch. Do we have anything else to talk about? Jake, you fart. <laughs> you want to wrap this shit up? I'm hungry as hell. Bro. Yeah, uh, patreon.com slash cough boys. If you're new, you can subscribe. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Ransomclothing.co on Instagram. When's your next shop? I don't Johnny's know birthday. I don't know if I'm doing that yet. Johnny's not it dropping depends. his birthday. It depends. I might. I might. I'll know by this Friday. All right. Love you guys. Appreciate you. Peace out.